Hi there. This is a quick Celetronics video to show you a typical improvement you can get by adding an external antenna to your mobile phone. I'm one of the RF engineers here at Celetronics and for this demonstration I'm going to use a Samsung Galaxy S2. To make it easier I'm going to put the Galaxy into engineering mode. Before I do this you can see that we have only two bars of coverage. What I'm doing here is putting the phone into engineering mode. And this will show us the signal strength, which is about near 100 dBm. Now when it's this low, you can experience drop calls, poor voice quality, and even you'll find that often calls, incoming calls, will go straight to voicemail. Okay, now on the roof of this building, we've got a directional antenna, a Celetronics directional antenna, and I'm going to show you by using an adapter cable into the back of the Galaxy phone what a difference this makes to coverage. By pushing the adapter cable squarely on the back and pushing it down, here it click. If we go back to debug screen, basic information, and here you can see that the signal level is NEG64. Now before that was about NEG100, NEG102, NEG103. So that's about a 40 dB improvement. Now a 40 dB improvement is about a 10,000 times signal level improvement. Now by the way, if you can look at the service bars here, you can see that we've only got about two bars. The reason for this is the service bars only update by average. Here's the signal power NEG64 we're currently receiving, and historically the signal power has been quite low. So that's why the average is NEG92. Now this will go down because the signal strength at the moment is NEG64, but as I say the service bars are shown on the average signal level. And that's why when you connect an external antenna to your phone, that it does take some time for you to find the best direction because the service bars are averaged. That is the real signal strength. Now just to demonstrate that again, I'll take the adapter cable off the back of the phone and straight away you'll see the signal level goes down to NEG100. The average signal will now start to go back towards NEG100. Okay, well that's showing you the direct antenna connection to the Samsung Galaxy S2. It works great. For those people that don't want to connect a plug into the back of their phone, you can also use this phone with a passive connection, and you can also use it with a passive repeater. We'll show, we'll show you those on another tutorial.